Today, we're going to discuss some of the most significant Polish heritage sites in London, worth exploring next time you visit London, England. And for our recent trip, I knew some of the places that we're going to talk about were around, so we actually compiled part of our itinerary to hit some of these unique spots. And uh, we did that, and we're going to share some of those highlights with our audience. Our first stop on this self-compiled itinerary of Polish heritage sites is called Katyn Memorial. We travel by tube to the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea to get close to the Gunnersbury Cemetery. We did find the entrance. It was the official entrance. So let me tell you a little bit about Gunnersbury Cemetery. It's in West London. And there is what is called the Katyn Memorial that was unveiled in 1976 and serves as a tribute to the thousands of Polish prisoners of war who were murdered by Soviet forces during World War II. The monument pays homage to one of the darkest events in Polish history known as the Katyn Massacre. This is where over 22,000 Polish soldiers and civilians were executed by Soviet forces in what is now known as Russia's Katyn Forest. It stands as a symbol of remembrance for those who lost their lives in the Katyn Massacre and serves as a reminder of the sacrifices made by the Polish people during this turbulent time in history. We made our way through the cemetery to find the memorial, and it's a large black obelisk structure. There's an additional inscription on the monument that reads, in remembrance of 14,500 Polish prisoners of war who disappeared in 1940 from camps at Kozielsk, Starobielsk, and Ostoskov, of whom 4,500 were later identified in a mass grave at Katyn near Smolensk. There's a note at the memorial that reads that there's a casket here containing soil from these graves of the murdered people by the Soviet secret police on Stalin's orders in 1940. And the soil here under came from that graveyard in 1990. And it was finally admitted in April of 1990 by the USSR after 50 years of denying the truth of what happened. So a bit of the history of this Ketin event in April 1943, it was German soldiers who uncovered eight large graves in the Soviet Union's Ketin Forest. These graves contained the bodies of thousands of Poles, army officers and intellectual elites who were previously incarcerated at prisoner of war camps. And this was part of Stalin's plan to destroy Poland's military force. During the Cold War, Decades later, the Poles in the UK fought to erect this memorial, but even encountered resistance from British government officials. And the Soviet Union didn't want this event to be remembered at all, so they also placed pressure on the UK government against this memorial. But ultimately, Poles in the UK were granted permission to erect the memorial, although no government official was present at the unveiling ceremony. I remember when we were in Poland visiting your aunt, and we went to go visit your Uncle Eddie's gravesite. There was also a Katyn memorial at that yeah. cemetery. In Szczecin. In Szczecin, yeah. yeah. The Katyn memorial in London is the first of its kind in the world. Today, the memorial is a place for mourning and remembrance and serves as a symbol of hope and unity between the two nations. It is a significant part of Polish heritage in London and remains an important site for many Polish people living in England and visitors from all over the world. After visiting the memorial, we wandered around the cemetery and we took notice of a very heavy Polish presence among the grave markers including Josef Hildebrandt, Colonel of the Polish Army, a grave to the 24th Polish Lancers, and so many others. 
Overall, it's a lovely, well-kept cemetery. The flowers were in bloom during our visit, very nicely landscaped. 